Um, okay, as you can see, the lighting's different. I'm sitting on the other side of my office. I mean, if you've been following my videos at all. Uh, because as Murphy said, who worked for NASA, if anything can go wrong, it will go wrong at the worst possible minute. And my uh, photo booth seems to be a little bit problematic. It won't record all the way through. But it gives me a, a little bit of data. One of the things that I notice is it's one of the reasons that you stop and look around and see what's going on in your world to see uh, if the electronic equipment is a reflection of what's going on. And oft times it is. Um, if your car doesn't start, there are things that... And I know a lot of people think, well, that's horseshit, and you are welcome to your thoughts, but when I realized that the uh, photo booth wasn't working, completely, I knew that uh, something was going on, so I have what I call a team meeting, and we'll do some talks on team meetings. Uh, you get with significant other team members who are working with you on the projects, and you look at what worked and what didn't work, uh, so that you can see how to move on. But years ago, I did a month long in L.A., and there was a man who had been a monk, and he was uh, really an intelligent man, and he was going through the month long, and he didn't make it through the month long, we agreed that he wouldn't finish the month long, but that's beside the point. One of the things he said to me was he worked on computers and worked on networking and software and stuff like that, and he would be brought into offices to work on computers, and especially, well, only when they were broken, I guess. But he said when he walked into the office, he could discern whether it was a computer problem or whether it was a human factor problem. In other words, if there was enough, if, there were, if it was significant enough confusion on the team or conflict or disrupt, it would be reflected in the electronic equipment. And Greg said, he would at that point he would say, look, here's your problem, and this one I can work on, the computer thing I can work on, but it, it's not a computer thing, it's a, it's a human factor thing, it's a management thing, if there's something going on here, it's an electromagnetic phenomenon that's impacting the computers, and I can't fix that. But he had the capacity to discern that. Uh, later on, I worked with a, a man who is into the energetics of water. Fred Van Loo, he knows more about water than anybody I've ever met. Uh, he has ways of enhancing water, enhancing vibrational frequencies of your atmosphere. Uh, Ewater.com, I think, is, is Fred's thing. But uh, none of their computer stuff would work. And somebody said, maybe it's the energetics in here. And they had all these energetics things, these things for enhancing water, for enhancing the air, for taking away the electromagnetic static and stuff like that. And after acknowledging it, the computer started to work. So if things don't work, you can get frustrated. You can do that. Or you can stop and look and see, okay, wait a minute. Is there something to this? Should I be looking at something? Uh, like I said, I'm at Nicole's computer, my wife's computer, uh, talking about the electromagnetic mix-ups that may impact your life www.micpeakperformance.com